Looking back at the last nine months, I can't help but feel immensely proud at how far we've come. Each and every one of you has worked tirelessly to support me and inspire members with new projects and initiatives. We have made a valuable contribution, ladies. A valuable contribution. But we cannot rest on our laurels. The British Expeditionary Force is being driven back towards the Channel, bringing war ever closer to home. When France falls, there'll be nothing between us and Nazi occupation but 22 miles of water. And then anything we've achieved thus far will be as nothing compared with what we'll be called upon to do. Sarah. The National Federation is launching an initiative to raise money to buy ambulances. Excellent idea. Large, small, all institutes are being asked to play their part. If and when the bombs start falling... I have it on good authority. It's a question of when, not if. The need for ambulances will be great. To that end, I've told the county that Great Paxford is setting its fundraising target at £50. Pounds. What? 50? Well, if we don't aim for a target, Sarah, we'll never hit it. But it has to be realistic. I have every faith the members will meet my challenge head on. Well, Pat alone could raise half with her cakes. Oh, she was still involved. Oh, she's not attended the last two meetings. Apart from shopping, she's barely seen out of her house. Well, she's been under the weather recently. But we certainly need her back in the fold for this. In the meantime, ladies, we need fundraising ideas. It was the easy way out. 
of a difficult financial position. You panicked. And then they trapped you. Oh. You're being too hard on yourself. I don't agree. To close the windows and turn on the gas. I only wish you'd come back five minutes later. Don't say that. It's true. How much money is there? I haven't counted it. I haven't touched it. I don't want it. I thought of burning it. You can't burn that kind of money. Let me help you. This isn't your concern. If I have to worry about you repeating it every time I leave the house, I'd say it is. I can't drag you into this. Now listen. I'm your friend. You're not dragging me anywhere. Started 15 minutes ago. This is done. We can arrive a little late and feign amazed surprise at how such a large sum of money found its way into the kitty. There's a man in a suit to see you. Looks like another client. Would you want me to tell him to sling his hook? It's time I learned how. If you want me to do your books, whatever you've been told by Nigel Hughes, I'm afraid I'm not taking on any more work. I'm not here to ask you to do my books, Mrs. Scotlock. My name is Detective Sergeant Brooks. And I'm here to arrest you on suspicion of fraudulent accounting and aiding and abetting tax evasion under the 1939 Prices of Goods Act. You are not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but whatever you say will be taken down in writing and may be given against you. 